Mariposa's uh, goal, one of the goals, is of course energy efficiency. And using structural insulated panels allows for maximum energy efficiency. What we're always trying to do is we're trying to create an envelope that has uh, air tightness, high R values. So we bring together a envelope, a system, that gives us that maximum energy efficiency. The installation of SIPs is something that can be done very efficiently. All of the design elements are incorporated into that design drawing, and then the design drawing becomes a stepping stone for fabrication in the factory. When the package is delivered to the site, now you have a whole bunch of pieces that are all marked and all labeled and all pre-cut. The package can come with lumber all pre-installed. Everything has been planned out such that it is much like putting together a big puzzle. One panel after the other fits together, follow the plan one after the other. Kind of the key is to make sure that they've done their homework, gotten a little bit of training, and know how to make sure that the panel is being used efficiently. The design works for panels, the, the crew is trained, they know how to put it together. Because as an industry, we sell speed, we sell uh, high performance and efficiency. And if the customer doesn't get that, then we haven't met their expectations. When SIPs are manufactured, they're made in sizes up to 8 feet by 24 feet long. Well, that's a big panel that weighs 700 pounds. You don't just walk over and pick it up like you walk over and pick up a 2 by 4 stud. So it takes not only planning for staging and working in the job site to know that you have room to move around with that size material, but also that you can handle it safely. That may involve using forklifts, an extended boom forklift that can move material around quickly and efficiently, as well as bringing in cranes to set roof panels. Um, but that's not to say that you have to have equipment. If you were in a very restricted site, you can work in your design to say, let's make these SIPs smaller. We have to hand set them, so therefore, in the design phase, knowing what our site restrictions might be, we could design the entire house using a, a more standard or a, a smaller SIP, which might only be four feet by eight feet. Well, that panel now weighs 100 pounds and can easily be set by hand. If everybody's done their job correctly, then the panels slide together easily. We can seal the joint properly and we've got a proper, proper installation. The system has many options or details that allow us to put plumbing, whether they be vent stacks or waste drains or lines, through a series of either chases or specially constructed uh, mechanical chase ways that will allow a plumber to work seamlessly with a structural slate panel system. One of the most often asked questions is how do we run electrical in a SIP? When we have a solid core, a foam core inside of this wall with no room to drill studs and pull wires, how do we do it? And the industry has developed a lot of standard detailing where electrical chases are pre-cut in the foam core and these chase ways uh, allow the electrician to run wiring uh, throughout the exterior envelope. And the reality is, is most electricians when properly trained and the installer does the job that they should be doing, then the electricians often find that they can wire houses, a uh, SIP house, even quicker than they can a conventional house. In the industry uh, of SIPs, you always have people who are going to ask the question, well, is it code approved? Is this going to be accepted by my local code official? Um, you know, does it, has it passed those types of codes that engineering and architectural uh, communities can embrace and say, yep, I know how to use it, and I know how to design with it, and I know how to build it. And the industry, uh, led by the Structural Slate Panel Association, has gone through great lengths to develop uh, code approval which means the code official can literally go to the manual, the book that is the code, and open it up and read where are SIPs, how are they being built, or how should they be built with, how should they should be designed. So the code officials have uh, the information necessary for them to say, SIP house, not a problem, we can put that up, and we can know how to inspect it, we know what to look for, because it's in the code. Most houses are built to code minimum. You know, what's code minimum? That's just good enough to get past an inspection. The SIP house is far above that in so many different areas. Um, strength and efficiency. So when you have that, you have the, the solid, warm feeling of a house that envelops you and makes you feel more comfortable.
We have many builders who, uh, after their experience with panels, would say, I'm never going to build with anything else because it went together quickly, it provided a better envelope for their client, the house brought them some attention in terms of being able to, hey, I'm building with something new and it's better, it's faster and you're going to be more comfortable when you live in a SIP house. Homeowners as well, I get calls from people all the time that say, you know, I love my house, it's comfortable, there's no drafts, um, it's cleaner, I'm not getting the air movement through the wall so I don't get the dust inside the house. Everybody has different stories to tell um, and some of them are pretty incredible.